everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Welcome fabricators. I was having a great discussion with a friend who's a solution engineer recently. We were talking about fabric data agents and the way that data security works with fabric agents. And I got a question, would row level security or column level security be respected by a data agent? I said, that's a wonderful question, but you know what we want to do? I don't want to talk about it. I want to show this to you. So let's go look at this together. All right, so here I am in my Azure portal and I've created an account, John Doe, and John has no access to anything whatsoever. So we're gonna start from scratch here. You can see, I don't even have access to any workspaces here, just the basic reports. So let's flip over to my main account. You can see in my data agent test workspace, I've got a warehouse, I've got a data agent. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click into the warehouse to look at the data we're working with. Now this is our movie data, but I've added a table specifically for this. I've added movie info and also box office data. Movie info, we've got rating, we've got runtime, we've got budget, genre, all that. Box office, we've worked with this with other videos. This is the daily box office growth from the US and Canada. Now I'm gonna run a quick query here because what I wanna do is I wanna restrict the access that John Doe has to movies that are rated R in the movie info table for results coming back from my agent. You can see I've got 255 columns sitting here right now if I were to query this, but John doesn't have access to anything. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the things that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to share this. So I'm going to share access to my warehouse. Now I'm gonna leave the default build reports on and I'm gonna put John's name in here and select him. But you can see, I just have to have something checked. This will notify them, but this will only give connect permissions to the database. And let's test that out and validate that real quick. So I'm in SSMS, I'm gonna connect as John Doe and I've gotta to connect to the box office warehouse because I don't have access to connect to the master database and then switch context to another database. So one of the things to keep in mind, very, very isolated here. And while I have connection access, if I run a very simple query, let's just say select star from DBO movie info, cause this is a table we're gonna be targeting. You can see, I don't even have select permissions. So let's go and take care of that. I'm gonna come back over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the statement, alter role DB data reader, add member John Doe with John Doe's um, intra ID associated with it, with his email account. Uh, we run this now, I should be able to rerun the query and boom, just like that. A little bit of uh, fabric magic, if you will. We've got access via data reader. So I do have access, but I've got access to all the movies. As a matter of fact, if I do a direct query on this, you can see I've got the rated R movies as John as well. Now let's take this a step at a time uh, because what I wanna do is first, I wanna show you how we're gonna test this. I'm gonna come back over here to the last video that we did on the Python data agent. I'm going to trigger my Q&A response. This is gonna go ahead and run. I'm gonna to have to authenticate as John. We're only gonna do this once. I won't make you see the authentication every single time, but every single time I run this, I'm gonna to have to authenticate. And this is gonna come as his permissions. As you can see right here, I have an error. I don't have access to the data agent yet. It hasn't been shared to me. Again, we're going a step at a time by this. So if I come into my data agent, back over in Microsoft Fabric, I'm gonna give you an example of the query that we're going to run against this. List the top 10 movie by box office gross grouped by rating. Now I don't have a one-to-one -one ratio in my box office table and my movie info, because you can see, even though I have 255 movies, I only have one returned with box office information and it's Deadpool. Uh, so uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. So, but I've got my G rated, my PG, my PG 13. I can share my data agent and access to it. Uh, you can see I can do this within an organization, existing groups, specific people, and I've got share edit and view details and view details. Now I'm gonna check with the product group. I may have been doing something wrong or I may not have been patient enough, but this should have worked to give him access without giving him access to the workspace. But I found that after I shared this with John, I, I just could not access it. And so I am still going to share it like this because I think that's important. And I'll do a follow-up based off of what I find out. But what I had to do was I had to give John access, viewer access at the workspace. Now, if we're gonna do that, you want your agent to be in a different workspace than your data, but I'm gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna walk through that real quick so you can see what I've done. I come in here, I'm going to add John. We're going to, you can see the default permission is viewer. I'm just gonna leave that as is. I'm gonna click add. John now has access to the workspace. 
So we've got access to the data. We've got access to the agent. I'm going to come back over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit and I'm going to re-instantiate my token now with authorization and access. So let's go ahead and let's run this again. I'm going to authenticate off screen, but I did authenticate as John Doe. And then I'm going to come in. I'm going to ask my question and I should get my response from my data agent this time. And there's everything including the R-rated information. So you can see this right there, Deadpool and Wolverine returns. We're going to exit this. So now I want to put some granular security in place. I've got a different script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function with schema binding. That's a predicate where I'm going to filter all the results that are rated R uh, when John is actually using his login. I can do as a security group for this as well. Now, if I come back over here and I rerun it, you can see I have no results in SSMS anymore for my R-rated movies. But just to make sure that I do have access, let's go ahead and change this to PG and run it. And you can see I get all the PG movies. So we validated this works from a data security standpoint, but let's see how our agent is now going to respond to this because you can see we can't access our data. So back over here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run our Q&A program one more time. And we're going to kick this off. I will authenticate off screen. And now we're going to enter in our exact same question that we've asked before. But we're going to look at the results. List the top 10 movies by box office groups grouped by rating. It's going to queue, go in progress, complete. Boom, a little bit of fabric magic. You can see right there, rated R, not in there. So let's get more specific. How many rated R movies are there? We know there's 255, but what is the agent going to tell John? There are no R rated movies in the database. Boom, magic. Okay, uh, how many movies are there broken down by rating? And this should give us an aggregate count again. Does Can we trick it? Can we get the R rated movies? There are 24 movies with G rating, 185 with PG, 401 with PG rating are not even mentioned. Okay. Incredible stuff here. What does this mean? This means that we can take our column level security, our row level security that we can use within our warehouse, those granular levels of security, and we can apply them to a data agent. And it's just going to work because we're using our Microsoft Intra ID to authenticate. And it's just like we were accessing the data in Fabric. Sound off. We want to hear from you. Let's keep this conversation going. Was this interesting? Was this helpful? Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one. Wake up, Bye, buddy. today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.